In the Kawaii update, we got access to the Ultimate Mastery XP Potion, which allows everyone to max out one of their mastery levels of their choosing. And in this week's dev blog, Big Games clearly stated that this will be the only opportunity that we will ever get in Pet Simulator 99 in order to use a potion like this. So for that reason, using it wisely is super important. Now there are currently 12 different masteries that you could choose from to use this potion on, and that is a lot of choices, so making the right one can be pretty difficult. But luckily for you guys, in this video, I'm gonna be doing a tier list and going through each of the masteries and who should really be choosing to upgrade them. There are a ton of different choices and some choices might make sense for some people and not make sense for others. So it's really important that you are thorough and go through all of the options that you do have. I just want to thank you guys so much for the support lately. It's been absolutely crazy. If you could continue subscribing and liking these videos, it helps me out so much. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into this tier list. All right, you guys. So first of all, I do want to start by saying that you guys don't need to make the choice to use this potion right away. And I actually strongly suggest just keeping the potion as long as you can until you actually know exactly which mastery you want to choose. Because while maxing out one mastery might seem very lucrative, to you this week maybe next week you decide you wanted to do a whole different one so for that reason if you're not going to immediately use one of these masteries and all of the perks that you get from it then i suggest just keeping the potion for the time being until you really know which one you want because again there really is no wrong or right way to use this it's really just going to depend on what you currently have leveled up and what kind of stuff you do in the game now really quickly here is the tier list i'm gonna put my face up here so you guys can see really quickly what we have down here i'm just going to be going in order of left to right and placing them somewhere on this tier list where i think you guys should be selecting them so starting off we have the fishing mastery now i'm gonna right away put this in the d tier i don't think any of you should be using your ultimate mastery xp potion on this because fishing is very afkable and i think overall the mastery perks that you do get with fishing really aren't that crazy as you can see here for the purposes of this video i'm just going to be looking at the level 90 perks and above because pretty much everything that's going to be under the level 90 perks are going to be pretty easy to obtain the bulk of the time it takes to actually get these level 99 masteries is in the 90 to 99 so the perks just aren't that good and i don't think a lot of you are going to find a lot of use for this so i would just 100 percent suggest not to use your potion for this but moving on we have the gift mastery now this one is actually pretty good we'll read through it in a second but i'd say this is actually an a tier suggestion now i think there are two on this list that i would say are s tiers and i would probably upgrade those before this one but this one is also pretty good as well if we pull up the gift mastery as you can see i am level 99 on this account now the huge benefit to getting this to level 90 is that you can automatically claim your free gifts without having to do anything and as you guys know with this kawaii update you can actually actually get a huge from these free gifts so this is actually a very good time to actually have a very high gift mastery besides that at level 99 you also get your free gifts a lot quicker as well and then you get a bunch of better loot from mini chest items charm stones as well as bundles now it isn't particularly hard to get this to level 99 it just is very expensive to go ahead and buy all of the charm stones and stuff like that so i think this is honestly a very solid choice if you already do have the other two s tier masteries um unlocked but next up we actually have have the economy mastery now i'm gonna put this at c tier now the reason i'm putting the economy mastery at c tier isn't because it's necessarily bad the economy mastery is actually pretty good as you can see you get a ton of perks up here so you get discounts on a lot of the prices as well as the merchants restock even quicker and at level 99 you also automatically buy stuff from vending machines that cost coins so the economy mastery isn't necessarily bad it's just not that difficult of a mastery to actually max out and you could do this pretty easily so for that reason is why i think this is a big waste if you do use your xp mastery potion on it now moving on to the fourth mastery the digging now the digging is really like it kind of just depends if you like to dig or if you are trying to get that huge but honestly i'd probably put this as d tier as well 
if you do want the perks from the digging mastery, you are going to be digging anyway, so you're probably going to get the XP naturally. If we pull up the digging mastery, you could see there's not really anything in particular that you get that is really crazy from the mastery perks basically all this mastery does is just gives you more diamonds better drops higher chances to get the huge and that's pretty much it so for that reason i would just stick to not using your mastery xp for either of these two right here next up we have the superior chest mimic mastery now this one i honestly might also put in d tier this is a mastery that you are just going to get naturally over time as you get the superior chest spawning. And if you really wanted to get it quicker, you could buy a superior chest mimic enchant and just grind with that. And you can get it to 99 fairly easy as well. Plus, from the stuff I've seen, I don't think the perks are really all that good. Of course, you get like the three times loot right here, 50% chance for them to spawn five times loot. But for the purposes of this mastery XP potion, I don't think this is worth it at all. And I'm going to put this at a high D tier. Now, next up, we have the potions mastery. Now, I don't want to put this at D tier, but I also don't think you should be using this XP mastery potion on it. So I'll put this as a very low C tier. The potion mastery is actually pretty useful and I definitely suggest getting it wrapped up, but it's not that expensive to do or hard at all. So it's just not something you should ever use your XP mastery potion on. Just to make this tier list more pretty, I'm putting it at C, but honestly, it should probably be a D tier. Now, next up, we also have the key mastery. Now I'm gonna put this as B tier, but honestly, it could also be like a lower A tier. The key mastery is actually fairly good. We could look at the benefits here essentially what the key mastery does is just gives you better loot from all of the chests and another thing that it does that is very good is gives you a chance to get a free key when combining other keys now you can actually make a lot of diamonds from combining the keys and then selling them for that reason this key mastery is pretty good and it just gives you better chances at gamba and on top of all that it is actually extremely expensive to get this to level 99 so it could be a decent option if you don't have all of the s and a's uh fully maxed out or rather i mean if you do have the s and a tiers maxed out already this uh key mastery might be a good option for you now moving on with the enchants mastery i'd honestly say this is in the exact same boat as the potions uh, it maybe it maybe it'd even be slightly above the potions but pretty much i would suggest not using your xp potion on this not because it's necessarily bad it's actually pretty good and very useful overall because it allows you to equip these high tier enchants but only only for the reason that it's very easy to actually get this and not expensive at all. So for that reason is why I say it is in low C tier, probably D tier if I didn't want to make this tier list look pretty. Now next up we have the breakables mastery. Now the breakables mastery is actually very good. I'd probably put this up above the gift mastery if it'll let me. Now, my only issue with the breakables mastery is that eventually after grinding for a while, you're gonna get this naturally. So I don't necessarily know if you really should be using your XP mastery potion on it, but just because of how good it really is, is why I'm putting it in that high A tier. At level 90, you get access to flag duration as well as better loot from breakables. And then at level 99, you get this 100% breakable respawn speed, which is actually really good as well as 21 flag slots plus a 50% chance for mini chests to spawn which is really good as you know and your flag duration also gets buffed and the amount of loot that you get from mini chests so as you guys could probably tell all of these are super important I'm currently on my trading account so I do only have it to level 88 but I'm telling you guys I really do not grind on this account at all so honestly level 88 is pretty good for never really grinding but a lot of these perks are super good so honestly if you don't don't have the two S tiers that I'm going to have on this list uh, to level 99, then I think this would be a good option if you are grinding 24 seven. Now for the eggs mastery, I'd honestly probably say this is a high B tier, maybe above the keys, but it could probably be swapped. The egg mastery is very good, so this could be a good option for you guys. I'm not sure how long this egg mastery would take if you never opened any exclusive eggs. I know that for opening exclusive eggs, you get a lot of XP for it. So if you don't want to go ahead and waste your diamonds on buying exclusive eggs in the trading plaza and then opening them for rep, then it's probably going to be pretty hard for you to get level 99. And a lot of these benefits that you do get are very good, such as bonus egg opening slots 
spots, which actually matters a ton when you're opening eggs overnight. And this could benefit you in the event worlds as well as the normal world opening the active huge egg. So having all of these bonus egg slots are very good as well as the hatch animation speed speeds up how fast you open by a ton. Plus makes the eggs cheaper, which allows you to use auto hatch for charged eggs and golden eggs at the same time. Overall, a decent mastery, but I'd definitely pick one of the A or S tiers over it. Now, moving on for the last two mastery that we have, I didn't purposely make these the last two. It kind of just ended up that way for some reason, but we're going to put the fruits mastery up here in the S tier. Now, as you guys know, the fruits mastery is very good. Definitely something I suggest everybody to work on. Getting level 99 in this allows you to queue up to 100 fruits at once. And the big thing is that it automatically allows you to eat fruits in your inventory, which is huge for grinding because you're going to be constantly at that max buff. So this allows you to grind a lot more overnight, and it's definitely a worth it investment. Now, the only downside and why I suggested in my video yesterday that you might want to reconsider not picking this one over a different one is that it's not necessarily hard to get fruits mastery. You just need to trade somebody for a bulk amount of fruits. The only thing is that it's really expensive to do so. It's like 1 billion diamonds or like 2 billion, somewhere between that range, depending on who you can find selling. But because it's not necessarily hard, but it is a very good mastery is why I put it in the S tier. But it isn't the best overall, I would say. The best overall, I would say, is this Pets Mastery. Now, the reason why I say that really isn't based on how good the Mastery is. The Pets Mastery is honestly pretty useless. So if we pull it up here and go to the level 90, some of the benefits include having a higher chance to hatch gold pets, using less pets for rainbowing, having an increased daycare speed, as well as increasing the diamond loot that you get from the daycare. And then at level 99, you get an increased chance to hatch rainbow pets, and then it requires less pets for gold and rainbowing, as well as an additional buff for your daycare and diamond loot from the daycare. So if you do use the daycare a lot, this definitely can be a very useful mastery. Now, personally, I don't use the daycare care so i've never really been too interested in maxing this out the only reason it really is the highest on the list of what you should be upgrading is because it is just so difficult to get this to max rank the amount of pets that you have to gold and rainbow in order to get this maxed out is absolutely ridiculous and it's nearly impossible to find people selling that many pets so for that reason is why i would say it is a good use for your mastery xp potion but if you you do want to just grind more i think overall this fruits would be more useful to you but honestly even though i did put all of these masteries in this order this list isn't definitive it really depends on your situation and what you like to personally grind because say for example you might not even grind in the game you might just be a trader so doing like either of these masteries would just be completely useless to you so you might want to go for something like the gifts mastery or even the key mastery if you like to gamble it honestly just depends on your situation so there's no wrong or right way to do it that list is just overall my opinion on which ones are the best for certain situations so hopefully this video helped you guys out and if it did remember to give it a like and subscribe for more i'll be doing a huge giveaway video in the next one or two days so look forward to that make sure you're subscribed and ready thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video and peace out